Welcome back to our trip through the Blender documentation. In the last video on vertex painting, we missed the paint menu here, so we are going to go over it quickly in this one. Heading to the paint menu, we see some options for things we can do in vertex paint mode. The first one here is smooth colors. This smooth colors across vertices. For example, if you find yourself in a situation where the gradient between vertices is too harsh or too soft, this will smooth it out. Next, we have dirty vertex colors, and this generates a dirt map gradient based on cavity. If we switch back to object mode and then add a UV sphere, and then switch to sculpt mode, pressing shift and left clicking on this object, we can make an indention. If we switch back to vertex mode and paint on it a little bit, and then click dirty vertex colors, we see something interesting happen. If we look at the adjust last action panel, we can make some adjustments. The blur strength will adjust the blur strength per iteration. Blur iterations will adjust the number of times to blur the colors, and higher blurs more. The highlight angle, which clamps the angle for convex areas of the mesh. Lower values increase the contrast, but can result in clamping. 90 means flat, 180 means infinitely pointed. And the dirt angle, which clamps the angle for concave areas of the mesh. Higher values increase the contrast, but can result in clamping. 90 means flat. Zero means infinitely deep. Below this, you can set dirt only, which when active, it won't calculate cleans for convex areas. And lastly, normalize, which will let you choose optimal contrast by effectively lowering highlight angle and increasing dirt angle automatically. Disabling normalize allows getting consistent results across multiple objects. Going back to the paint menu, next we have vertex color from weight. This will convert the active weight into grayscale colors. Invert, which inverts RGB values of the vertices. Then Levels, which adjust the levels of the selected vertices. Next, we have Hue-slash-Saturation-slash-Value adjustments. This adjusts the HSV values of the selected vertices. And Brightness-slash-Contrast. This adjusts the brightness-contrast of the selected vertices. And finally, we have the last two options, Vertex Colors and Sample Color. The first one fills the active color attribute with the current paint color, and the second will adjust the brush color of the draw tool to the color under the mouse cursor. And that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for making it all the way through the video. Please join us in the next one. See you next time.